Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com. I taught a triple layer stamping technique way back in 2012. So I'll put a link in my blog post in the show more section below this YouTube video if you'd like to see it. But today I'm going to show you a double layer version. This is a square card. The folded size measures four and one eighth by four and one eighth. In metric, that's 10.5 by 10.5 centimeters. You can get two cards out of one sheet, so measure that at um, four and one eighth. This is a European A4 size. So you can get two out of an A4 sheet. So that's at four and one eighth. And then you have this left over. So you can cut that two pieces at three inch by three inch square. So I'll go through the metric measurements in a minute. So there's very little waste, all you're left with is just that and you can easily use that um, for a label or something. Then you simply score at four and one eighth and fold it in half. Now the metric measurement will then be 21 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres. Um, score at 10.5 and fold it in half. So the these um, three by three inch squares are 7.6 by 7.6 centimeters. And you need a matte layer in tranquil tide, which is three and one eighth by three and one eighth inches. In metric, that will be 7.9 by 7.9. The inks I'm using are Smoky Slate, Tranquil Tide and Soft Sky. And you also need a sponge dauber. I'm using waterfront as well as high tide. I'm using this little highlighter here and also the seagulls. Now I've done a bit of surgery on this stamp. <coughs> um, I only want these three birds so I've actually cut the larger birds um, and, and left them out. And if I want the whole lot I can always join them together. Being photopolymer stamps, I'll need a foam mat, so I'm going to place that underneath my grid paper, pop that on, and put a bit of Tombow glue on the back of this card. Use the spreader to spread it, and if you leave it to dry, this glue the same properties as a post-it note it's not permanent if you apply it while the glue is still wet then it will stick permanently but if you allow the glue to dry you can um, temporarily fix it to your work surface because you don't want that to move so I'm adhering the very vanilla layer onto my cardstock and I'm going to stamp over both layers so first I'm going to stamp this mountain image in smoky slate. Sort of halfway up. And the reason why I'm holding the stamp rather than stamping it on the surface is because I want the gap between the two layers of cardstock to stamp properly. You need to remember that if you're stamping like this you can't stamp again, you have to re-ink your um, stamp because it will show the marks of the line. So pop that there. And I'm just going to hold the stock in between there. I'm going to stamp off before stamping on. To create the distance, take this stamp 
um, just for the land mass and I'm only going to use the tip the edge of the stamp at the very tip and that's why I've mounted it on the edge of the block so I don't accidentally get ink uh, where I don't want it to be so I'm just stamping uh, inking it up at the very edge and I'm tipping the stamp so the weight is more on that side it give it gives it a wispy look now I want to stamp a forest and I'm going to mount my stamp I only want um, the tips of the trees rather than all of it and I think um, I'll, I'll omit that one but I don't want to cut the stamp and just only use these two trees together so when I'm inking it up I only ink up part of the stamp And it's best to put post-it notes on the bottom so it doesn't accidentally ink up where I don't want it to. Stamp the birds in flight. So I'm going to stamp them there. Now I'm going to take the sponge dauber and sponge a little bit of the sky. use this stamp upside down to stamp the water in soft sky stamp off stamp on stamp off again to use this little stamp here to highlight the water and I'm going to just stamp directly then use this speckled one to just add a little bit of interest down here lastly stamp the word thanks here in smoky slate so I'll just stamp that in this little corner so next you carefully peel this off adhere it to the tranquil tide layer then adhere the tranquil tide layer to the card front and make sure that you marry up the markers so it looks like one continuous picture so it's really not difficult and this stamp set is fantastic 
for bringing out the artist in you. Now, I can't draw or paint to save my life, but with these stamps, I have. Subscribe or share on Facebook if you haven't already, and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the Show More section, with direct links to my online store. So if you'd like to recreate this, um, you can purchase the products through my uh, links below. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!